Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, back doing the old videos again. Not that I've been anywhere because I've pretty much done one a week for the last 20 weeks. Uh, <laughs> just in case you miss me. Last weekend I took the scooter out for a test drive. Uh, it was test drive two because the first one was, uh, wasn't very successful. So, tee up by the way. At any point the scooter was to break down or run out of battery, I only had half a mile to walk back to the car, so it, was, it seemed like a good idea. You'll notice I'm hugging this cup of tea because it is the only thing keeping me warm at the moment. It's bloody freezing outside, which means it's freezing in here. Uh, I do need to get some some uh, heat in so, set up in here. Uh, and a chair so I stop banging my bloody head all the time. Um, I will continue to hold this cup of tea. Anyway, back to the scooter. Yeah, uh, Test Drive 2 was was a success. Um, it was quite fun. Uh, I was got, got some strange looks, which I was expecting anyway. The scooter is absolutely covered in dirt, uh, which I was a bit off about, because now I've got to try and wash it. See if I've got enough on my plate to do. Anyway, so I've got to clean the scooter up, fix the uh, throttle, because what, what, what was happening was, um, so I stopped the camera to do a bit of filming, I noticed there was a load of wet leaves uh, where I'd stopped and thought I reckon I could do a bit of a wheel spin on these which did seem like a good idea at the time unfortunately as soon as I put my weight on the scooter not that I'm a fat or anything but as soon as I put my, my weight on the scooter and pulled the throttle back as far as it would go I had a snap it was struggling towards the end because I couldn't find the right point um, where the power was full to when it was going off so that was a bit disappointing really but uh, I, I probably will do another test drive um, it, when it warms up a bit now, probably probably April, May time, I'll take it out for a spin. I think we've done everything we can do with it now, so it was good while it lasted. Great fun, great little project. Yeah, so it was a cool little project. Um, uh, it was fun filming it and posting it online for you guys to watch or not watch as most of you haven't really watched it. <laughs> it's just me and my mum and then probably me about 12 more times. So uh, I'd say Thanks for the cups, please. Done. And if you'd like to know how to make a nice cup of tea, there's a previous video I've done. Um, it's called a bit of, caused a bit of controversy, really. People saying that you don't put milk in first, you put it in last. I know how to make a nice cup of tea. Don't give me all that. Come round, I'll make you a cup of tea. We'll have a chat about how nice the cup of tea is I made you and then you can make me a cup of tea and I'm sure it'll be a nice cup of tea too. There's no difference. Stop being weird. Jesus. Anyway, back to the scooter. So this is what we got. Uh, that, that was a little lake I drove around uh, about nine times. Yeah, so I was, I was averaging nine to 10 miles, um, which is pretty cool, really. I know the... Um, some of the newer scooters, they say they can go up to 25 miles an hour. Why you'd want to do that is beyond me. Uh, the quickest I got out of it was obviously 19 miles an hour, which was, I presume that was downhill, uh, which was fun, but it's not something I'd want to do the whole way around. Um, you've got to have a bit of a screw loose if you want to go 25 miles an hour on a scooter. It's just, yeah, why? So, yeah, 90 miles an hour was our top speed. We went for a distance. We averaged nine to 10 miles an hour um, on the way round. And by the looks at that, we done, I am mean, just eat my dinner, so it's all coming up while I'm talking. Really sexy look. Not physically being sick in my mouth, you know what I mean? I've got some kind of uh, respect. Uh, so basically I've done an average of nine to 10 miles an hour top speed of 19 miles an hour and the scooter actually went eight miles all the way around but we do think if I hadn't been a big kid and tried doing a wheel spin and broke the, the throttle so I, I don't think I would have got a great deal more I maybe would have got nine miles nine and a half miles p 
pushing 10 maybe, but that is pushing it. The acid batteries before that I had in it, the two 12 volt um, batteries. When I fully charged those up before and done a test drive, I've got about, I've got about six, six miles where this one, I got eight miles. I guaranteed got eight miles. So it, there was a lesson learned whether it's worth doing. I'd say yeah, to be honest with you, at the end of the day it's, it's one and a half, two miles more than you were getting. So basically for me, I work um, six and a half miles away and my, my uh, the old scooter could only go six miles. So there was a half a mile gap, which wasn't good. Well, at least I know now I can get eight miles out of this before I have to charge it. So it's, it, it's done what it needed to do. This project's been absolutely wicked. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, tell your friends, go and buy yourself a scooter, have a bit of fun. So it is actually illegal to drive um, scooters in this country at the moment, which is absolutely stupid. Uh, it's a great means of traveling around. Uh, it's actually free. You know, it costs next to nothing to charge them really. Um, so, you know, Boris, sort yourself out. I know you've uh, got your feet under the table now. Just change the law for me, man. What's going on? This is the end of this project. Uh, it took 21 episodes to get it to where we need to be. Um, it's been wicked, it's been fun. Thank you guys for watching. I will be starting the next build um, in the next few weeks. I'm gonna have to strip it down, work out what we need, what we're gonna do with it, and then order the parts and start rebuilding that one. As always guys, thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe somewhere down the bottom, and I'll catch you in the next one.